Hey guys, welcome back and this is me Tarun and today I am going to be talking about the Sayyid. There were four emperors when they had the dual authority. The kings were just like the rulers but the brothers actually had the real authorities and the emperors which I am talking about were Faruxia, Rafi Udarajat, Shah Jahan II whose birth name is Rafi Udola and Muhammad Shah. Jahandar Shah's inglorious reign came to an early end in January 1713 when he was defeated at Agra by his nephew Paruksiyar. Paruksiyar owed his retreat to the Sayyid brothers Abdullah Khan and Hussein Ali Khan Baraha, who were therefore given the offices of Wazir and Nur Bakshi, respectively. The Sayyid brothers soon acquired dominant control of the affairs of the state and Paduxia lacked the capacity to do it. He was coward, cruel, undependable, and faithless. Moreover, he allowed himself to be influenced by worthless favorites and flatterers. In spite of his weaknesses, Farouk Seer was not willing to give the Sayyid brothers a free hand but wanted to exercise personal authority. The Sayyid brothers were convinced that administration could be carried on properly, the decay of the empire checked, and their own position safeguarded only if they believed real authority and the emperor merely reigned without ruling. There was a prolonged struggle for power between the Emperor Faruxiyar and his Wazir Mir Bakshi. Year after year, the ungrateful Emperor intrigued to overthrow the two brothers, but he failed repeatedly. In the end of 1719, the Sayyid brothers deposed Faruxiyar and killed him. In Faruxiyar's place, they raised to the throne. In quick succession, two princes, namely Rafi ul Darjat and Rafi Yuddala, who were cousins of Paruxia, but they died soon. The Sayyid brothers now made Muhammad Shah the emperor of India. The three, the three successors of Paruxia were mere puppets in the hands of the Sayyids. Even their personal freedom to meet people and to move around was restricted. Thus, from 1713 until 1720, when they were overthrown, the Sayyid brothers wielded the administrative powers of the state. And when I'm talking about when they were overthrown, I'm not talking about the successors, but I'm talking about Sayyid brothers. Sayyid brothers made a rigorous effort to control rebellions and to save the empire from administrative disintegration. They failed in these attacks mainly because they were faced with constant political rivalry, quarrels, and conspiracies at the court. The everlasting resistance in the ruling circles disorganized and even paralyzed administration at all levels and spread lawlessness and disorders everywhere. The financial position of the state worsened rapidly as zamindars and rebellious elements who refused to play rand revenue. Officials misappropriated state revenues and central income declined because of the spread of revenue farming. Salaries of officials and soldiers could not be played regularly and soldiers became undisciplined and even mutinous. Many nobles were jealous of the growing power of the Sayyid brothers. The deposition and murder of Faruxia frightened many of them. If the emperor could be killed, what safety was there for the mere nobles? Moreover, the murder of the emperor created a wave of public revolt against these two brothers. They were looked down upon as traitors. The many of the nobles of Aurangzeb's reign also disliked the Sayyid alliance with the Rajput and the Maratha chiefs and their liberal policies toward the Hindus. 
Many nobles declared that the Sayyids were following anti-Mughal and anti-Islamic policies. Thus, they tried to adopt the fanatical sections of the Muslim nobility against the Sayyid brothers. The anti-Sayyid nobles were supported by Muhammad, Emperor Muhammad Shah, who wanted to free himself from the control of the true brothers. In 1720, Heather, Ali, Heather Khan killed Hussein Ali Khan on 9th October 1720, the younger of the two brothers. Abdullah Khan tried to fight back but was defeated near Agra. Thus ended the domination of the Mughal Empire by the Sayyid brothers. And they were known as kingmakers in, in, in the history of India. Please like, share, and subscribe, and check out the blog whose link you can see in the screen in front of you. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.